So far in this course, we have learned about Angular components in great detail. We learned that components are the basic building block of any Angular application. And we also learned how to create and use a component. Another key feature of Angular is its directives. And in this lecture, we will learn what is a directive and what is its importance. So basically, a directive is an instruction to the DOM. In simple words, we use directives to manipulate the DOM. Using directives, we tell Angular how the DOM element should behave or look like, and also which DOM element to add to the web page and which one to not add. You can change a DOM element's appearance, behavior, or layout using directives. They simply help you extend HTML in some way. Directives in Angular can be classified into three types, component directive, attribute directive, and structural directive. A component directive is nothing but an Angular component. We learned and used Angular component in our previous lectures. So this component directive is that Angular component. Okay, so component directive is nothing but components in Angular. So a component is also a directive, but it is a directive with a template. Components are also a kind of instruction to the DOM. Wherever we use a component, there we instruct Angular to render the view template of that component. Right, and since we are manipulating the DOM when we are using a component, it is also a directive, but again, it is a directive with a template. Other types of directives do not have a template. So once we place the selector of our component somewhere in the template, at this point of time, we are instructing Angular to add the content of our component's view template and the business logic of the TypeScript code in that place where we have used the selector of that component. So this was our instruction to Angular to render the view template of that component at that place where we used its selector. Okay, so keep in mind that components are also directives, but it is a directive with a template. Other types of directives do not have a template. Then attribute directive is another type of directive. Using attribute directive, we can change the appearance or behavior of a DOM element. Unlike component directive, attribute directive does not have a template. It does not render anything on the web page, neither it removes anything from the web page. For example, we can create a custom attribute directive called change to green for changing the background color of the web page element to green. So this can be a custom directive which we can build and use it on all those web page elements whose background we want to change to green. And as you can see here, we are using that directive like an attribute. Now, since it is an attribute directive, it is only going to change the behavior or look of the HTML element on which we have used it. It is not going to add or remove that element from the web page. We also have built in attribute directives like ng style and ng class, which we can use to change the appearance of a web page element. The attribute directives can also be applied conditionally. Now we will learn about ng style and ng class built in attribute directive in our coming lectures. Next, we have structural directive. Structural directives can change the DOM layout by adding and removing DOM elements. It basically manipulates the DOM by adding or removing DOM elements from the web page. And just like attribute directive, structural directive also does not have a template. Some of the built-in structural directives available in Angular are ngif, ng4, and ngswitch. Now, one important thing to keep in mind here is that whenever we use a structural directive, before that structural directive, we use an asterisk. For example, here on this development, when we are using this ng if directive, before that directive, we are using an asterisk. This simply tells Angular that the directive which we are using here, it is a structural directive. It is going to manipulate the DOM by adding or removing DOM elements. Again, we will talk about structural directive and these built-in structural directives in great detail in our coming lectures. Now, we typically add directives with attribute selector, but technically the selector of a directive can be configured like the selector of a component. So we have learned about different types of selectors in Angular. So we have CSS class selector, we have attribute selector, we have HTML tag selector, right? So generally when we use the selector of a component, we use it like an HTML tag. But in case of directive, we use the selector of a directive like an HTML attribute. But technically, we can also use the selector of a directive like a CSS class or like an HTML tag or even like an ID selector. But mostly, we use directives like an HTML attribute. Now, just like a component, 
a directive is also a TypeScript class. And this TypeScript class is decorated with a directive decorator. So here you see, in order to create a directive, first we are creating a TypeScript class. We are calling it change to green. And then in order to make this TypeScript class a directive, we are decorating it with a directive decorator. And to this add directive decorator, we are passing the metadata object. And there we are setting the selector. And if you notice, we are wrapping the value of that selector within square brackets. So we have learned that when we wrap the selector value within square brackets like this, in that case, that selector can only be used like an HTML attribute. We cannot use it like an HTML tag. So since we are wrapping it within square brackets, we can use this selector like an HTML attribute. And that's what you will see here. So in this example, we are using this change to green directive like an HTML attribute. And when we use a directive on an HTML attribute, it changes its appearance or behavior. It might also add or remove that HTML element from the DOM. That simply depends on whether that directive is a structural directive or an attribute directive. So this was a very high level overview of what is a directive and what do we use it for. In the upcoming lectures, we are going to learn about some of the built-in directives in Angular. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.